2014 is the 100th anniversary of the Smith-Lever Act when Congress established the land-grant university system to assist farmers across the nation. It's also when the title Cooperative Extension began being used for agents working with the farmers and the youth of Virginia. We had the first corn club uh, for boys from Chesterfield and Dinwiddie, 100 students that you know, worked together to learn how to grow corn more effectively. And then in uh, 2013, was the first community club in the state of Virginia was here in Dinwiddie also. So we have a lot of history with the beginnings of extension. Today this is one of our many projects working with the farmers, uh, putting in uh, localized field plots where they can see hands-on research from our specialists from extension. And we're putting in a, a peanut variety trial today with a combination of different fungicide treatments with one of our uh, uh, specialists from the Tidewater AREC. Field research and personal instruction like this is what has made American agriculture the envy of the world. Caroline County grain and cattle farmer Alan Tigner Jr. says he's relied on the advice from extension agents for decades. Back then, particularly, uh, the land was being tilled, a lot of no-till, no uh, well, turn plowing and, and disking, and there was a lot of erosion going on. And so they helped me learn a lot about uh, how to do with less tillage and uh, even with no-till. The extension uh, helped me learn uh, new ways of marketing, uh, especially concerning the, uh, learning about the grading of cattle and what the uh, buyers really wanted. I've got to wear many hats, but I have many supporters in extension, and that's what's so good about extension, the numerous amount of resources that we have with our specialists on campus and at the research stations that we can uh, draw their knowledge, you know, back to your county level. The partnership with Extension is between the community, the local government, the local Extension office, volunteers, and the specialists. It's a large network that works as long as there is communication for the common goal to bring the latest research and knowledge from the university to the local level. You know, I feel like I'm part of the community. You know, I have farmers that I've known now for 21 years that I've been working with, and it's it's a it's a definitely a relationship. I know what resources they have. They know what resources that I bring to them. Um, I uh, I rotate who I get to volunteer, so we spread it out so the whole community feels involved uh, within the county, and it, it's a really good a good system. You feel like you're part of a family. Farmers in our society have seen enormous change in the past century, from the horse and buggy to the internet. But Tigner believes farmers and all Virginians need extension more than ever. With the work that we have to do, actual work on the farm, it's, it's nearly impossible for us to keep up with everything uh, with this new technology that's coming on the scene. So we have to rely on them to uh, help us and teach us. I have relied on it a lot, and uh, I think uh, younger people coming on will need it as much as I did, if not uh, even more. Whether it's with youth education in 4-H or with the production side of farming, Extension has grown together with rural and urban communities over the past century. And that tradition and cooperation will continue as long as folks need a personal touch on the farm or in their homes. This is Dave Miller reporting.